The good ending versus the bad ending. Countries during WW1, we have the Finnish good ending versus the uh, Finnish bad ending with the Soviets taking over all of Finland. You can see why first one would be good, second one would be bad. Uh, bad ending would be occupied Serbia. That first one was just a kingdom of Yugoslavia. That's kind of what they got in WW1, right? Again, it is WW1, so they kind of got their own good ending. Well, I guess so did Finland for that matter. We have the French Republic, the good ending versus what could have happened, the French Commune. Yes, in WW1 though, I mean, yes, it is possible. I mean, anything is possible in alt history. I guess the way this would have had to happen is if somehow after the USSR had their little civil war, they just started rolling over countries until they got all the way to France and they forced them to become communists. Kingdom of Montenegro, the good ending. Hey, that would be nice if after World War One they was, oh, bad ending, they were still an Austro-Hungarian puppet. That is for sure. The good ending, we have a kingdom of Italy with part of Turkish lands too. Um, that is the absolute worst, is that Italy goes back to their broken self. How they kind of spent the last several centuries. The Italian prince was all messed up. Obviously the good ending for the British Empire was just them keeping everything. Uh, bad ending would be them becoming a German puppet. Meanwhile, also Scotland is on their own. Scotland's probably not too happy with England either. Good ending, the Ottoman Empire just existing after WW1. Anything of them existing would be good. And this is the absolute bad ending. Now this is not what happened to Turkey, but it's almost what happened to Turkey. After the Ottomans collapsed, the British, the French, the Italians, they wanted to carve up this peninsula. Turkey would have been pretty much nowhere near what we know today. A united Benelux under Belgium would be the good ending. A uh, bad ending absolutely would be uh, like German Flanders. Basically Germany winning World War One. Empire of Japan, them existing, but with a little bit more land than they had. Bad ending with just them being stuck with not their Imperial Japanese lands. Remember after WD1, they got extra stuff. The Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, the good ending is a hey, we could we could have made them thicker, right? Isn't the good ending Luxembourg being really Yeah, bad ending. That would it's just them getting wiped off the face of the map. Uh the Polish Federation. Somehow Poland coming back and getting their old stuff back. Bad ending would still be under the Polish uh, Polish people under the USSR. Uh, Kingdom of Persia for Iran would be the good ending. Bad ending, yeah, divided. If the Ottomans had survived, if the UK let the Ottomans survive, I guess, and then they got the other side, um, that is a possibility I've never actually thought about after WW1. Oh, the Hellenic Republic, of course, Greece wanted that to come back. Uh, with the fall of the Ottomans, maybe it could have happened, but bad ending with them. I guess the Central Powers winning and then be, be, being like a puppet, the Ottoman Empire, that would be their worst nightmare. Republic of Portugal and them losing all their stuff, um, just them. I feel like Iberian Union would be their bad ending. Good ending the USA. USA? Uh, New Prussia, a German puppet. Oh, and, oh, this is key. This is actually pretty smart, because they gave back Mexico lands right here. So that seems like a reference to the Zimmerman telegram, where the Germans asked Mexico to start a war with the USA, and they were going to give back some of those old states. They didn't promise all of it, though, which I kind of just found that out. Kind of surprising that they wouldn't just say, hey, Mexico, go to war with the US. We'll give you all of it back. Like, no wonder they said no. How about the Bulgarian, the Tsardom of Bulgaria? Good ending would be them stretching all the way across right there I feel like them existing at least that, that can't be the nightmare ending because they still exist right uh, good ending would just be oh looking nice and thick but um, yeah they kind of got the bad ending didn't they Austria Hungary already got their bad ending. good ending so this is if WW1 Germany won uh, this is what they were looking like for a second also all of Southeast Asia. Huge German-African colony right here. Bad ending would be them getting split up in WB1. Yeah, there's, they literally went back to the Kingdom of Prussia. This is nightmare ending, I think, for Germany here. Principality of Albania. Uh, them kind of doing their thing. Definitely being a uh, puppet. They were going to get pretty close to that bad ending, I think. Uh, Kingdom of Romania. Nice, a little bit wider. Uh, bad ending. Yeah, that's... Again, I like how some are bad endings, some are nightmare endings. Like, it, it is, yes, Greater Russia, uh, bad ending. It could be worse. It could be ru worse for Russia. That was by Rhino Productions. Please go subscribe. Why countries despise each other by pop-up data. First of all, we have the Korean Peninsula because of ideological differences. We have the Armenian-Azerbaijan conflict due to, yep, a fight for some territory. Taiwan and China. China believes Taiwan belongs to him. That would definitely be why. Croatia and Serbia both speak same language but follow different, uh, faiths? 
Uh, this also, that's the thing about this, this could be a lot more, it's hard to summarize and put it into a box exactly why countries despise each other. It's probably a long list of things, but, you know, summarizing it in six words can kind of be a little difficult. Due to Transylvania issue, Romania and Hungary don't like each other. China and Japan because of the second Sino-Japanese war, that is for sure. Kosovo and Serbia because Kosovo's, uh, declaration of independence. Uh, Brazil and Venezuela because of political instability. I didn't even realize that they disliked each other that much. Ukraine and Russia because of NATO and there's a lot of fighting going on. All sorts of things. France and Algeria due to Algeria's strong relation with Islamic country. Also, you know, there's some colonial stuff in there too. Remember that France had all of this literally not that long ago. And so to this day, they hold a pretty strong presence. Israel, Palestine, both countries want same land. Denmark and Syria because of Syrian refugees. Again, I didn't realize those two. Algeria and Morocco because of sand war. The sand war uh, took place in the 60s, 1963. Morocco is now claiming they own a lot more land. Always love looking at these Cold War Wikipedia boxes because there's always some interesting belligerence involved. France supported Morocco and Egypt and Cuba supported Algeria, yet nothing from the USA or the USSR this time. So Somalia and Ethiopia dislike each other because of territorial issues. Turkey and Greece because of uh, a dispute. I mean, again, that there's a lot of history behind that one too. They, they At this point, I don't even know why they dislike each other. They probably forgot. It's just been going on for so long. Iraq and Kuwait in 1990. Iraq accused Kuwait of stealing Iraqi petroleum. USA and Russia, both countries want to become a superpower. That is an interesting way to phrase it. Now, of course, that's like the current thing, but you know, not that long ago during the Cold War, they were the only two superpowers. It was literally just the USA and the USSR, and I guess they kind of just both thought, um, we want to be number one. They just wanted to be the only one. They started like slightly poking each other and like annoying each other slowly around the world. That's a weird way to describe it, but I don't know why I chose that. Ireland and the UK because of Northern Ireland, Sudan and South Sudan. Uh, yeah, those two split up. Spain and Morocco. Uh, because, yeah, Spain still has some spots in Morocco that they, yeah, they still control. Uh, Pakistan and India due to Kashmir issue and some faith stuff and some history. Australia and China because of the South China Sea dispute. You could add a lot of other countries into that too, right? Philippines probably also are in part of that. Georgia and Russia due to, yep, there was a little fighting going on. Bangladesh and Pakistan, uh, due to a fight going on. India is involved in that as well. Israel and Iran, uh, some nuclear stuff. Argentina and Chile because of anti-Chilean sentiment in Argentina. Uh, it, what, really? I know they've always had a rock. Man, Argentina is fighting with everybody. Mexico, North Korea. North Korea withdraw from treaty on nuclear Wait, what? Mexico and North Korea? As of when? And then Argentina and the UK, of course, because of the Falklands. There actually is a North Korean embassy in Mexico City right now. That is interesting. Top comment is literally Mexico and North Korea. That is the most bizarre fight of all time. There's actually some notable rivalries that I thought were slightly missing here, but this is a part one video. Subscribe to Pop Up Data to see part two. Yo, guys! New Yakko's World just dropped, and apparently it's by... Me. I don't remember doing this. I actually haven't covered this video itself, but I've just reviewed so many memes about it that it feels like we already have. It says, Drudonel sings the 197 countries of the world. I want to be honest, I feel like I haven't even said the name of all the countries in the world. I'm going to be really impressed if literally every country is found here. Can I name every country on Earth? I have literally done question. no practice before this. <laughs> oh, this, this was actually a test that I was doing. I don't really know if I can do that. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, oh, Haiti, wow. Jamaica, Peru, Islamaland. This time. is Dominican already in public. Dominica, Cuba, El Salvador, too. I've never even heard of that place. Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana. This is crazy. Guatemala. There's like videos. There's so many videos already being used here. This is insane. We even got videos from way back in the day being used. Guatemala, okay, what? Bolivia, oh, like the sound effects. Argentina. Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica. This is gonna be Andalusia, weird because you Antigua and Barbuda, the Bahamas, Barbados. Belize. I like. <laughs> I'm already cracking up. It's funny because there probably isn't some on-camera footage of me actually saying some of these countries' names. Like like here with Antigua. Like, I don't think I've said that on camera yet. Rica, St. Lucia, Antigua, and Barbuda. Oh, so Bahamas, luckily, Barbados, you know what? I probably have Paraguay, said all the Uruguay, countries. Surname, St. Vincent, because and Because I go over Nicaragua. all the countries. Boom. Granada, <laughs> Trinidad, I don't know why I make so many weird sound effects now that I'm thinking about it. So you know what? Maybe I have said every country's name on Earth because when I took a test trying to name all the countries on Earth, I had to go over all the ones that I forgot. So maybe this is possible. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yeah, this is a weird evolution Nicaragua. of like, boom. 
Granada. All the weird Trinidad and Tobago. <gasps> All the weird Andorra, like Kosovo, different Vatican faces Monica, I've had over the San years. San Marino, Montenegro, Hairstyles, Norway, Sweden, Iceland, Finland, uh, Germany, facial hair, lack cheese, of facial hair, Switzerland, Austria, Czechia, Slovakia, <laughs> Italy, Turkey, and Greece. Bosnia this and is Herzegovina, Slovenia, Serbia, Croatia, Ukraine. Moldova, Moldova, probably East the North North best fan-made video UAE? I've ever. All right, Poland. Did I say yee yee? This is probably the best fan-made video I've ever seen by far. Moldova, Maldives, East Timor, North Macedonia, UAE. All right, Poland. Oh, right. I thought Poland. I said yee yee for Malta. Albania, Ireland, uh, Russia, U Oman, e e Bulgaria, Saudi e Arabia, e Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq, Iran. <laughs> this is Syria, Lebanon. This Israel, is giving me Jordan, wow. Yemen, Kuwait, Bahrain. The Netherlands, Luxembourg, <laughs> Belgium, <laughs> Portugal, <laughs> France, UK, Denmark, Spain, Estonia, <laughs> Latvia, Lithuania, uh, is, Belarus, Liechtenstein, this is crazy, Armenia, Georgia, Kazakhstan, wow, Kyrgyzstan, what? Kazakhstan, can you collect Palestine? all the Druze? That's India, like I've never seen a video collect Myanmar, all the different Thailand, Nepal, Bhutan, Cambodia, <laughs> Malaysia, Bangladesh, China, both Koreas, Japan, Wait, Taiwan, Mongolia, are we going Laos, in Brunei, Indonesia, the Philippines? I don't think we're going Bajan, in um, Sri Lanka, Uzbekistan, Qatar, order, Uzbekistan Singapore, Vietnam, <laughs> Tunisia, Morocco, Uganda, and I wonder what order we're going in. Booty, Botswana, bah! Mozambique, Zambia, Comoros, Gambia, Guinea, Algeria, Ghana, this is mm. so crazy. Burundi, Lesotho, Malawi, Togo, South Africa, Sierra Leone, Niger, <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> Look Nigeria. at how like homeless man my beard got at some points. This is before I realized, oh, I have to kind of shave that down occasionally. I literally go from looking like a 12 year old to like a homeless guy in the streets. Uh -huh. mm. Burundi, Lesotho, I got the, Malawi, Togo, got the glasses South Africa, on sometimes Sierra too. Sierra Leone, <laughs> Niger, Nigeria. I don't know why Chad, I said it like Liberia. that. Egypt, Benin, Gabon, but it works. Tanzania. Uh, really Somalia, Kenya, Mali, Marianas, South Sudan. Sudan, Mauritania, Namibia, Senegal, Libya, Cameroon, Sudan, Wow, Ethiopia, Guinea, B, Madagascar. I'm getting all the African countries, Coast, which I, I, I can't get these Congo, countries if you Congo, ask me. Burkina Faso, <laughs> right now. I don't know what this is. Off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Equatorial Guinea. Oh no, is that the one country I haven't been able to pronounce? Okay, let's figure that out right now. What's funny is I don't remember when I said that, but I have to be honest, even to this day, I still don't know what this is. The fourth autocomplete is pronunciation. Sao Tome and Principe. I'm probably gonna forget that instantly, but I finally said it. I don't think I've ever heard this country's name or that combination of words in my life. I've known about the country because I've seen it before. I've read it many times before, but um, yeah, the pronunciation is what threw me off. Vroom vroom. Central vroom, African vroom. Republic. Oh man, even uh, my dark this hair. Eswatini. But I dyed Australia? it. Australia. Samoa. Tonga. Micronesia. <laughs> Papua New Guinea. <laughs> Tuvalu, oh. <laughs> Nauru, New Zealand. Fiji. I think that's another one that I haven't seen. Kiribati, Marshall Islands, Solomon Islands, Palau. Uh, what? 197 places from I, around the globe. That is wow. That is beautiful. Please definitely go subscribe to this person. The best video I've seen all year. Pretty much the best gift for the 10th anniversary of this channel right here. It has come to my attention that a lot of my videos contain some sort of unintelligible noise. Ah! There's actually six whole parts in this video where I didn't even know what the country was and I didn't actually say the name I think like he has place. to actually take times of me saying I've never heard of this place or like actually mispronouncing the country's names there's probably several countries on earth that I've literally been mispronouncing this entire time and I've just haven't realized it yet like Mauritanian Mauritanius what is it luckily country balls don't need to know exactly how to pronounce every country's name in the world let's see how they make cakes though all right add two eggs says no no Germany we have Czechoslovakia and Austria going into the bowl we have sugar Who's gonna be the sugar? Is that British sugar? Wait, wait, what was that again? Sugar appeasement policy made by Great Britain. Nice. Neville Chamberlain did give them a little bit of sugar, didn't they? Oh, we have Italy working on the pizza. They have to borrow that roller real quick. Whisk until you get a hue of German empire. Uh, I, I think. This, <laughs> this is reminding me of like chaotic kitchen uh, cooking videos. Uh, now we're throwing in, was that all the Nordics? No, I think that is like, uh, well, maybe Norway, but Belgium and France as well. Yeah, they're, they're all going at someone that no, no Germany conquered over there in the West. Uh, now we have flour from, uh, France. That's going to be a very key ingredient to the entire dish. Uh, melt with butter. Is Croatia going to, I like the song. Where's Croatia at? Uh, water. That's Yugoslavia. Water is oil. Well, not enough for Africa, unfortunately. Um, bake for four year, uh, years. That's the Blitzkrieg tactic. Later. 
Something is bad. Take the cake out carefully so that you don't get burned uh, by the partisans. Okay, so just to be exact, I want to see who exactly that was from. Yes. Uh, yes, there were a lot of people in WW2 that did not make it. The Union? Ooh, the... Oh, I guess not. The Soviet Union did not want to help out with the cake. For a second there, the world thought that, uh, you know, the USSR was going to add their own ingredients and they both were going to make this horrible monster in the kitchen, but, um, no. Actually, in the, it was actually more of reverse. The no-no Germans kind of took the cake and put it in the USSR's face first and then they started fighting. I didn't even realize this says the Anschluss on it. I almost missed that. The Austrian painter has now both failed art school and cooking school. Did anyone else notice France first turned white before they actually fell in? Inside. That's kind of ironic. Because of course by 3D Country Balls, please go subscribe. And again, just subscribe to all these channels to continue to support them. These are videos that you've likely watched in the past seven days according to my YouTube analytics. So I like to review over them, give some extra information. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023 at 6 Boy, do I PM. love Arby's. Drew's Eritrean grandma. Portugal is not Drew's Balkans. Argentinian $20 grandpa. $20 is a lot, Drew. A fat Norwal. Brighton is the Caleb best. Caleb H. Gibson, good old Ryan. Jack Traven's annoying John friend. John Denver. Lugs and Bird. Girl. Fresh Animations. Ryan. The Weekend. Great Commonwealth, Commonwealth. Commonwealth. and Zany Boy.